The implementation of Integrated Pest Management (IPM) is a further step forward in the management of plant health in farms. It combines cultural measures, chemical treatments, and alternative solutions. All of this is taking place with the aim of keeping pests below established thresholds in order to ensure profitability, and at the same time respecting the environment and the health of farmers and consumers. In order to carry out integrated pest management, farmers must be well trained and informed. One of the tools for achieving this is integrated pest management guidelines, published by the Ministry of Agriculture, Food and the Environment. They are technical documents containing the different strategies used to deal with pest problems that may arise in crops. When a farmer discovers that a pest or disease in routine monitoring is affecting their crops, the integrated pest management guidelines should be consulted. An inspection must be carried out in order to determine the extent and severity of the problem. An advisor should also be contacted if needed to decide on how best to deal with the situation. It is then that a decision is taken on how to address the phytosanitary problem. One option, provided that these alternatives are available, could be biological or technological control using natural predators of the pest or traps and pheromones. These actions will be included in the field notebook or in the advisory documents. Another option is the use of plant protection products. If this is the case, the farmer will consult on which is the most suitable product for their farm, taking into account location and the type and extent of the pest. This decision, as well as which treatment will be used, will be included in the field notebook or in the farm's advisory documentation. Then comes the time to buy the plant protection product at an authorized point of sale. The professional user's licenses should be in order. Back on the farm, the farmer will have to safely store the product in a well-ventilated location and fulfill the security measures. When carrying out the treatment, pesticide producers' instructions should be followed and respected in line with the defined recommendations in the Integrated Pest Management Guidelines, or IPM, with regard to protection areas. The application process begins by first checking the equipment before proceeding. Then, with regard to the product's use, there must be compliance with the instructions on the label of the plant protection product and the minimum distance from water must also be followed. Individual protective equipment should be used in order to prevent occupational hazards. Following the use of the pesticide, one important step remains – the correct delivery and recycling of used containers that have been emptied and rinsed, which implies proper waste management. This is the last step in the process of integrated pest management. Integrated pest management is the process that allows and supports sustainable quality food production by respecting the environment and the health of farmers and consumers.